Well, buying a home can be intimidating, especially when you hear terms like encumbrance, amortization, and escrow, but it's still a great investment that can give you a generous tax break and equity. Dan Edwards teams with Right Pat Credit Union for the basics of buying and why it can really pay off. Well, with school back in session, it seems like the perfect time for a crash course in home financing. Your teacher is the chief lending officer for Right Pat Credit Union. Tim Lansky says one of your first decisions should be the length. Most people live in their home somewhere between 7 and 10 years. And so if you can afford a 15-year mortgage, you know, that will mean you'll have to make an extra, you know, extra payments or, or larger payments every month, but you'll pay your loan off substantially faster. Now, a 30-year fixed-rate loan does offer peace of mind, but remember, if you borrow $200,000, you'll end up paying about $400,000 over the life of that mortgage. You come in and we're going to talk about helping you guys buy a house. Another option, ARM loans. The credit union offers some great adjustable rate mortgages where the interest rates are significantly lower than the 30-year fixed rate, but the interest rate can go up over time, but there's price caps on it. Tim says foreclosures are not a life sentence. You can start rebuilding your credit now. That may be as simple as going out and getting a small signature loan or uh, using their car for a loan or maybe a small secured credit card loan. And remember, you will be required to come up with a down payment larger than the typical 3 to 5 percent, but you'll have plenty of time to do it. Most lenders require anywhere from 24 to 48 months before they'll even consider a loan to somebody who's had a foreclosure. Regardless of your financial background, lenders are simply looking at your debt-to-income ratio. It's just a simple math equation. We take all your monthly payments for your debts. So it doesn't include your utility bill or your gas bill or your cable bill. It's your car loan payment, your credit cards, your mortgage. We add all those up and we divide it by your monthly income. Generally, it should be around 40% of your monthly income. And when applying for a loan, make sure you bring your credit report, which you can get online for free, income verification, like a pay stub, and any statements showing assets or investments, like a 401k account. And also, count on 2 to 3% of your loan going toward closing costs, which include home appraisals, title searches, and credit checks. Dan Edwards, 2 News on your side.